you go. You know, I'm going to give you the guide service. Look at that. I'm going to give you the spinner back. I love it. Look at a nice little chunker. That's what all these boats, there's a bunch of boats up on a point here. Yep. You know, fish like this and Winnie are, are what people come up here for. The these are the fish. perfect cutters. Yep. That's a good word for it, isn't Absolutely. it? A cutter. <laughs> we started off doing some trolling. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and Tom right away got one one fish, probably 20 inch or just a nice one. And we got caught, caught some eaters. I dumped one big one next to the boat. You know, but we did that for about two hours. That's a pike he had. But he said, let's go try so something a little bit different. Let's go up into the weeds, do a little jigging. I'm going to pull a few spinners. Might do a little rigging, and we might even go deep and try a little jigging wraps. We weren't up here with that spinner for, I don't know, five, six minutes, and you whacked one. It's a great delivery system. You know, you're moving water. You're kind of just exploring these weed beds and seeing what's around. And it's been working for us for so long. We've modified things a little bit with the rig, you know, just uh, the beads really, how many beads you got on doesn't matter. But the spinner makes a big difference. And we use a lot of gold spinners. You got a little color in the water and a long shank hook. This is, uh, you know, size one, VMC hook, uh, long shank. You can put the minnow on, you put it in the mouth, you bring it out the gill. So the, the bottom of the hook is right off the belly of the minnow. And then you turn it and you bring it right through. And the nice thing about it is it'll run straight. I like to pull that barb out just a little bit off the back of the minnow. So when I get a bite, I just set the hook on it and I don't miss them. But again, old school, eh, maybe you might think it is, but new way of doing it, that's the thing. It works, that's the most important. Now, you, now, as I told you, you got to give me a little more time. Yeah, How's that did. one? <laughs> <laughs> now he's baiting up, and he, 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 now I got now I got to stay with my jig just a little bit longer. This one is uh, it's an inch bigger than your last <laughs> one. <laughs> I got to add I a little that. bit to it. I an inch it. bigger, yeah. an inch bigger, give or Perfect. take a little bit. Yeah. You know what? But Bubba, you know what? Now you're now we're catching Winnie Walleyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we the one neat thing about Winnie, there's a lot of ways to catch these fish here. We started off pulling plugs, you know, looking for a big fish. We did that for two hours and it wasn't really hot in time. So you know there's there's too many fish in here. We gotta try a different presentation. And we rigged up, came up on top of the flats and started pounding them. This is I would call a lake like Winnie. Walleye Presentations 101. What do I mean by that? Jigs, live bait rigs, minnows, night crawlers, or leeches on it, or spinners. That's the bread and butter. Yeah, there's an occasional spot you'll get on a cork and bite, bite on the rocks with leeches. Yeah, there's some fish that can be had pulling plugs, but this is your classic Northern Minnesota walleye lake. And that, those three presentations, jigs of some kind, a, a live bait rig or spinners, and you're going to come out here anytime during the open water season and be able to put walleyes in a boat. Sometimes all sizes, quantities, and on some days quality or a mixture of. It's an amazing lake.